Matthew Santoro <laughs> yeah. is in the building. Makes noise for Matthew Woo! Santoro. Too. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so we're pretty much doing like a YouTube week here on the Hot Five at Nine. We're gonna have different YouTube stars, celebrities that are be rolling through, and uh, you're the first one that's coming through. Yes, yeah. Uh, Buffer Festival is going down. Uh, is it this weekend? This week, uh, October 23rd to the 25th. Yeah, this weekend. Third annual, is it? It is. Yeah. And do you have a showcase this weekend? I do actually. I'm actually uh, premiering something that I shot uh, in South Africa. Okay. I just got back from South. Africa and I shot something that's in 4K on an LG phone which is a sponsor of Buffer Festival and it's a beautiful video. You're really going to like it. It's uh, I don't want to give too much away but I got some really cool shots of wildlife and just going around and uh, on safari and things like that. Nice. Yeah. I, I do want to ask you about some uh, personal stuff I guess. Back in the day you were an accountant. Yes sir. Uh, Can I just, I'm like how? Yeah, yeah, how right? Right? Stereotypically yeah. accountants <laughs> yeah. are the most boring people on the I planet. Know, I know, I know. So, so <laughs> no, no, my cousin happen? is an accountant. He is the most boring person in the world. I love yes. you, but he's, he's boring. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. happened? Well, yeah, I know, I know. It seems like it's like from one extreme to the next, yeah. right? It's like from super boring to uh, to something that actually gets people's attention when you're talking to them. Um, basically, what happened was I went to Brock University, got my Master of Accountancy degree, went into that, and actually ended up getting laid off. Okay. Uh, uh, which kind of made me go, you know what, why am I doing this? Like, I went to school for like a quote-unquote safe job, right? right? But truth is, that doesn't exist anymore. Not anymore, yeah. Uh, it's all contract work and stuff. So I decided, you know what, if, if there's that much risk out there, I might as well take a risk on myself and work for myself. And I started doing uh, YouTube videos more seriously. Up until that point, it had just been um, something I did on the side on Saturdays to keep myself sane because of all the number crunching during the week. <laughs> and yeah. then for a whole year, I did that uh, just, you know, to try to make it. And then at the end of the year... Uh, it, my channel finally took off. So it basically, I was broke for a year, and uh, now I'm not. What year was that? <laughs> what year did it start? Um, oh, man. It was, well, from the year, uh, for 2013 was the year that I did it. Okay. And then at the right at the end of that year, right through 2014, my channel just exploded. So I went from uh, 30,000 subscribers in January to over 3.5 million at the end of <gasps> This is like new-ish found stardom. Yeah, and yeah. you know what? And it, it hasn't been an easy transition. Like, it's weird to go from somebody who just does something as a hobby to people, you know, blowing your, your phone up, like, you know, asking you to come out and uh, sponsorship opportunities. And, and, and then you start questioning, like, who am I? Like, who am I supposed to be now? Right, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you, you, you struggle with that a little bit. But uh, it's been a struggle, but I think I finally found my place, and I'm really happy with where I'm at. It's been a few years only, but are you looking outside of YouTube yet? Like... I want to say TV, but like, you know, we think about going to cable TV, but like Netflix or something like that, right? Yeah. Like a series on Netflix or something. Yeah, um, actually, absolutely. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, I always, I want to always, like, I like to say that YouTube is always my home and it will, digital will always be my bread and butter. Like, I love YouTube. I love being a part of the community. But yeah, I definitely want to try new things. To be honest with you, I don't have a huge interest in TV. I'd like to try it. But really, uh, movies are where I'd really like to go into wow. because people still love watching movies. Nowadays, they don't watch cable as much. They watch more, you know, digital, Netflix, YouTube, and things. Uh, but for myself, uh, you know, I've already started branching out. In fact, I just got back from South Africa where I was an extra, a zombie, in the next Resident Evil movie. The, fi the final Dope. Resident Evil movie. So, uh, you know, I got that opportunity, again, because of the viewers, because of my fan base, and I'm eternally grateful for that. And it, it was just amazing meeting other influencers from around the world, and we got to talk to uh, Mila Jovovich, and she's really cool, and it was just, it was an amazing experience. We were talking before that you met Will Smith. I did. And you have a top three list of, like, people you want to meet. Yes, I do. And, and I, you guys are in radio, man, and I know that, like, you know, you've been giving this guy love for a long right? time, <laughs> so I know you got connections to Drake, man. Don't play <laughs> me. I know you got <laughs> those connections. I see that. <laughs> Running through the six, man. Listen, uh, I got three people I want to meet. One is uh, Will Smith, one is Bill Nye the Science Guy, and one is Drake. And I met the first two and got selfies with the first two, but Drake is that elusive, like, next-level character <laughs> that I really just I want to meet the guy because to be honest with you guys uh, I don't think anyone knows this but when my so this is a little exclusive I guess for Flo yeah. but uh, <laughs> when my channel first started blowing up at the beginning of 2014 uh, his newest album was uh 
what really got me through the whole thing it kept me motivated it just i listened to his music over and over and um yeah that was really so that's something that i don't know if i'll ever tell him right but like he has like a special place in my heart because like listening listening to his albums really just motivated me to i i felt like his lyrics a lot more than i think the average person did because it talks a lot about like evolving in in success and things like that and i uh, that's where i felt i was at that point Wow. Okay. Well, I hope Drake. Drake. Yeah. Right. I, listen, man. <laughs> Boy, just watch this. Listen. Yeah. Follow me on Twitter <laughs> at Matthew Santoro. You know, I tweet a few times. I'm sure you're busy. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, DM me. You know, we'll go to uh, you know your favorite restaurant. That's it. <laughs>